Discretion is advised. guys welcome back to the channel Marley and I are gonna do a little bit of hunting this afternoon we've been on this beautiful permission most of the day I've been filming for a lot of different stuff and we're gonna head up on the ridgeline I've got with me the BRK ghost this is in 22 caliber my good friend Tristan over at Atlas air Guns sent me this gun um, we're gonna be putting together a couple videos using it in hunting situations and then ultimately I'm going to review it and so I'm real excited to do that. So follow me up on this hill and we'll set up shop and see if we can take out some ground squirrels. Marley and I are just up on this ridge line here and I've got a nice view out in front of me of this field. Now the grass is pretty tall, so a lot of times it's difficult to spot these ground squirrels. Uh, but typically you'll look around some of the sagebrush, some of the taller bushes, and a lot of times you'll find them around those, um, or even up in the sagebrush. And that's usually how I've had pretty good luck. Just a quick tip for you guys to do a lot of hunting, a lot of hiking around, specifically for small game. Um, as an example, I've got a Hawk Sidewinder here. This is a 416 by 50. And when I'm hiking around, you know, I'm not gonna set my scope to, you know, 12, 16 power. I'm gonna have it all the way down as low as it goes to four. And the reason for that is I've got a nice wide field of view. And I've hunted with people that like to hunt with high mag scopes and they're usually never successful and that's the reason. If you find an animal 30, 40, 50 yards and you go to shoulder the gun, you're going to have a hell of a time finding that target um, with a high magnification. And so I always like to keep my gun scope set at the lowest power. One of my favorite positions and certainly the quickest is just to drop down and I'll usually be in this position and I can use my knee and my elbow here as a rest for the gun. And this seems to be pretty stable, um, you know, at least out to 50, 60 yards. Um, a lot of times I'll take a shot this way. Um, if I've got something a little bit more long range, I'll sit down like this. And again, I'll use my knee as a rest. Um, it really kind of depends on, you know, what's comfortable for you. So that's where getting out and doing some practice really comes in handy. Um, you're going to be a lot more successful in hunting situations. Really, it comes down to how quickly you can make a shot. Because um, a lot of times, you know, if it's a rabbit or a squirrel, they're not going to stay put very long. A lot of times they're moving. And so you need a position that you can get into as quickly as you can in a variety of terrain because um, a lot of times the terrain is off camber and you've got to adjust the bipod it's a whole lot easier to manipulate your body into a position that's comfortable and stable So far I'm pretty impressed with the Ghost. It is very well made from what I can see. I like the fact that um, it's externally adjustable so you can really kind of adjust the gun to shoot a variety of different ammo. And I like that. I like the ergonomics of it. It's a pretty good looking gun. 
very accurate and uh, you know I look forward to using it some more out in the field if you guys have any questions on this gun you guys can reach out to my friend Tristan over at Atlas Air Guns he is a distributor and I'm sure he'd be able to answer any questions that you guys might have on this gun but I will be reviewing it I've just got to use it a little bit more so I can give you guys some honest feedback but I appreciate you guys coming along with me I know we didn't really have that much action um, but I have been using this for the past couple days and uh, we've had a lot of fun with it but I appreciate it and we will see you guys on the next adventure